contemporaries never called him the Conqueror. The earliest recorded use of the nickname was in the 1120s. He was called the Great by Admirers and the Bastard by his detractors. William introduced castles to England and Wales. That's not to say there weren't fortifications before then, but the term castle came with the Normans. They were initially mostly made of earth and timber at first. The stone versions came later. Over 100,000 people died due to the Norman conquest of England. This wasn't, however, due to the famous Battle of Hastings. It is more due to William's crushing of rebellion between 1069 and 1070, where he destroyed vast areas of land north of the River Humber, causing famine, otherwise known as the Harrying of the North. William and his wife Matilda were not so mismatched in the height as people believe. It has been said that William was really tall for a medieval man, about 5 foot 10 inches, and that Matilda was really short for a medieval woman, about 4 foot 2 inches. But examination of the skeletons show that Matilda was most likely 5 feet tall, an average height for a medieval woman, and William was just 5 foot 8 tall, just above average height for a medieval man. William's body exploded at his funeral. He had died after his horse reared up during a 1087 battle, throwing him from his saddle and rupturing his intestines, the infection later killing him. As the priest tried to put him in a stone coffin, his abdomen burst, causing what would be one hell of a stench. The name William was popularised in England thanks to the Conqueror. It's an old French name composed of the Germanic elements will, meaning desire, and helm, meaning protection. It is still one of the top names given to boys in the UK today. No surprise that a future king has the name then. Next time on Six Facts. He's the king who has a potato named after him. Edward VII.